Kia ora to love, love and warm Pacific greetings to you all. Welcome to episode 5 of how to make a boomer shooter. In this episode, I wanted to address a comment which had asked to make like acidic surfaces similar to that of Doom. And something I realized I haven't done yet is showing you guys how to use animated textures. So I wanted to kill two birds with one stone in that sense. And also I wanted to show you guys how to make doors. But yeah, in saying that, let's just jump straight into it. Eh? So I have added more assets for you guys to download. Uh, the link is in the description, but just so we'll be able to move along um, with a lot of the stuff we're going to be doing in this episode. So in saying that, if you have those files, just place them in the same folder that you keep your assets in and we'll just go into importing them. Eh? So uh, we'll go to import, import textures and I want to get a floor in here. So we'll navigate to assets and you should have these three files in your folder. Those are the extra assets that I've provided. So we'll go into animated textures and we'll get Maki. And there should be five files here. So we'll open all those and we'll press accept. Awesome. And now I have them all here and it's like, well, they kind of look the same. Well, these are all frames of an animation and they, there are slight differences in them. It might be hard for you to tell, but if we hover over them, you can see that they all have their names, which will make it easier to kind of um, figure out which one's which. And we kind of need these here because when it comes to the texture animation, the frames have to be in our either our walls or our floors. I wish there was a better way to organize it, but it's okay for now. So to get into making a animated texture, first we need to go into our advanced tools and when we go to advanced tools we got all these cool settings which we'll go over in future episodes but the one we want is texture animation configurator so we'll click that and as you can see here we have a tab for textures and frames i believe the texture is going to be the first texture we need to use um, in order for it to register all the animation frames and play them so um, for this one, if we click our file icon, it'll show us all the available textures we have that we've already imported into our game. So we'll choose the first one of Muck. We'll go select. And now this is going to be the one texture that we'll use to place that will have our animation on it. And so now, since we have this one here, we can add all of the frames of animation needed for this texture. So if I click here, We'll go and add all of our frames. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. And there we go. So we got our texture all set up. So let's press accept to that. And now if I get my first texture, let's uh, place it in this room here. And I probably will add a uh, step just to differentiate, to let the player know that there's a slight difference in where we are going. And we can go and have a look to see if it works now. So if I open the game and head there, actually, I want to enable a cheat just so the enemies don't um, annoy me. So if I press the tilde key and go AI, disable there we go so the AI will be disabled and they won't annoy me while I'm just walking through the map and then as we arrive here we can see that our animated texture is working which is good but when we jump on it nothing happens and so how do we make it a uh, acidic surface or a hazardous surface that was kind of a hint on what like the block we need so if we head to our default modifiers as you can see there is a block called hazard block here so if we click on this and i just hover over or click over sorry or the areas of which my muck texture is on and i go to play the game again enable cheats disable and then we got it here if i hop on it <coughs> is getting injured so yeah that's pretty much the way to make an acidic surface now thanks for the comment by the way um, and now let's jump into making doors eh so just to make a simple door 
we will click on our door texture that I've provided, which should already be in the assets and we'll place it. Where should I place it? We'll place it actually here first when we first enter in. And then in order for us to make this an actual door, what I need to do is go to my default modifiers and just get my door here. And if I get that tile and click it on my door, what we'll find is we have a door now, but it looks kind of weird. But if I go up to it and I press the interact key, it opens. So we do have a door. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Why does it look so weird? Well, with how I um, laid out the textures, there are two textures laying on top of each other. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because there are three ways for our door to behave. And to change the behavior of the door, all we have to do is come to this door type section here. And as you can see, we have side on right now. So that's why when we interacted with the door, it slid sideways. Another option we have is up. And if I test that, same weird texture, but as you can see, the door slides up. And what I wanted to do, just because we're kind of in a more realistic setting is the last setting here is hinged. And so it'll make a hinged door. And so if I click test game now, we see we have a normal looking door now. The reason why I put two textures on top of each other is how this operates when it comes to cube maps, I believe is it will use the bottom texture for the graphics on the wall residing outside the door. And then it will use the top texture for the door itself. And so now we have a normal door. It is indented in the wall, but we could, yeah, we can address that later. But as I interact with it by pressing E and it opens and it's a hinged door, which is good. But our door has no sound, which is unfortunate. So how do I add sounds to my door? Well, it's kind of weird to figure out where this is. It kind of took me a little bit of time to figure out myself, but um, we can find that there will be contextual sounds you can put within a specific map right down here at this button called map sounds. And if I click on this, we have heaps of different sounds we can import. So even though our player already has some of these sounds here, like step sound, death, her jump land. I believe if we put sounds in here, they'll override those sounds just so every map can have kind of like a different type of sound or like sound different sonically because the context of the map might change that whether it be if we're walking around and on a hard surface, we want to use hard surface like sounds. Whereas if I was in the forest, we kind of want a crunchier grass sound or sand or snow or sound completely different. So that's why I feel these could change or could even be like in context with another like character. We're playing as different characters and they have different sounds. But yeah, you can go real in depth with how you want to use these. But here, I believe is the only place in which when it comes to the maps, we can import our sounds for our door. So we have an opening sound, a closing sound and a lock sound. So we go on the file icon for opening and we head back to the assets. We should have a map file with the new assets I've uploaded. If we go to sounds, we got all our door sounds. So we'll go door open for door opening, closing, close, and then locked it is locked. Awesome. So we'll press accept to that. And if I go and test the game now, walk up to this door, interact with it. Oh, and it's got door sounds now. And if I leave it, I've got a closing sound. Nice. Let's get into more like gamey stuff, like interesting things when it comes to doors. How do I make a locked door? Well, let's say I put a, another tile down with my red door and I put it on this one right here. I'll put my blue door here. I'll put my green door here. Do I want to put it there? Yeah. Green door, green door. Yeah, might as well. And then I will, what I will need is if I go to custom, no, if I go to default modifiers, 
as you can see here we have locked doors and we've got one for a red door a green door and a blue door i did the textures in that specifically for this reason so it's easy to um like show you guys but essentially what these will do is we will need a key for all these different doors so let's say i get my red tile here i put it on the red door green i put it on the green door and blue i put it on the blue door and there's another green door so we'll put that there uh these behave pretty much similar to our normal door but they will be locked so we will need keys now where do i find these key objects to use another hint well if we go into our objects tab as you can see here we have three keys one for a red one for a green and one for a blue so if i was to use these by clicking on it and placing it somewhere within the room now we have a way in which to open this red door so now we've got a little bit of puzzling now so if i get the red key i can open the red door but the blue door is still locked so i want to put the blue key right here and then the blue key will allow me to open the blue door and then if i get the green key i can put the green key here in order to open the green doors which is cool and now we've got a little bit of like a game flow in order to navigate through the space so let's test it out eh so i jump in just get armed open this door here and then try and interact with this door that's that locked door sound so i can't get in there until i get the key so you're dead the keys there. <laughs> key and as you can see i have the key with the indicator on my hud in the top right so i got a red key so now i should be able to unlock this door interact with e now that opens you're dead Put that guy out get my blue key can't get in green and we can get into the blue door now you're dead and we got our green key to get into the green room. You're dead! Dang. Oh. Dang. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much locked doors, animated textures, as well as the hazard block to make acidic surfaces. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Eh?